Hey everyone, Justine here. Welcome to my channel. Please feel free to subscribe and hit that bell at the bottom of the screen to be notified of all my new videos in the future. Today I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I curl my hair um, and what curling iron I use. So I'm actually using the Hot Tools Professional. Um, this one is the rainbow one. Um, this is the longer barrel too. I think I picked it up at Ulta. Um, with a 20% off coupon. It ended up, ended up being around four, between $40 and $50. Um, normally it was about $65, I think, and that's kind of up there with for curling irons. But um, just the way that Hot Tools, the way that they work, I really like them. They stand up to professional products 100%. So what I usually do is I part my hair and then I take it section by section. I usually take up this much. And I always start at the top and then I start rolling or I start curling. And I'll keep it here for a couple seconds Then I'll let it go. Keep it for a couple seconds. I always just tap on the little handle until I get it all until I get the ends all the way in, and then I'll leave it for about five more seconds. And then I release the handle. And I'll just let that curl cool down. I don't touch it, do anything like that. We'll go on to the next. This ensures that your curls are gonna last all day. And the size that I'm using is one and a fourth inch. So I'll do the same. By me curling my hair like this, it's going to ensure that I don't um, scorch the ends. You can also do this with just a regular size. Unless you have very long hair, then I'd probably recommend this size. I have thick hair. Don't leave it for a very long time. I think I, the setting is between 350 to 400. This goes up to 450, I believe, but I don't ever go to 450. I don't recommend anyone going up to 450. And I already have heat protectant in my hair. Um, you can spray it in before you begin. The less amount of hair that you have in there, the less amount of time that you need to leave it on the barrel. So now I take just a, some front sections and I just take it section by section, especially since my hair is thick. The other parts that I curled, I just push them to the back. So I'll go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Time for the last section, I just go halfway, part the last bits, take the same size. I always go from the back to the front so I can make sure that I have all of my hair. So I'll let that cool. While that cools, I'm going to do my bangs, curl my bangs backwards. This is what I do before I like put my bangs back up to get them out of my face now that they're in like a weird stage and I'm not sure what I want to do with them. If I want to trim them, shape them, whatever. And then now my hair should have cooled so I'll just run my fingers through it. And then sometimes I'll put oil if I feel it's a little dry or staticky. I'll get some oil between my hands, put it towards the end. OK, 
Okay, so that's pretty much what I do whenever I want to curl my hair and just go this way. I just have a routine. I just do everything section by section. It can go pretty quickly. So that's the final result. So that's pretty much it on how I curl my hair. I'll go ahead and link the information on this curling iron below if I can find it anywhere online. I don't know how much it's going for right now. But please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you like how to's or how I do specific things. Let me know in the comments below what you'd like for me to show you guys next. And thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.